Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Token Post daily news briefing, providing the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. On our top story, we have Samsung's plans on a new blockchain smartphone, President Trump's new chief of staff, and a surprising airdrop from one of Hong Kong's crypto millionaires. Stay tuned for more. I'm your host Sun, and this is your daily news briefing. Welcome back to Token Boss Daily News Briefing. The hype continues as news on Samsung's possible release of a blockchain smartphone gets announced. According to multiple media sources, Samsung has filed a patent for an upcoming blockchain smartphone technology. Including a blockchain core system, key store function, and a key box, Samsung plans to implement a full blockchain-based ecosystem by allowing users to store crypto assets and enjoy the upcoming blockchain applications. Will Samsung enter the ring for blockchain smartphones along with HTC and Siren Labs? While some believe that Samsung is ready and will be releasing its new product, the Galaxy 10, with an included crypto wallet and a blockchain function, more are to be seen in the coming future. A good news to US crypto investors as Coinbase adds a cash withdrawal system through PayPal. According to the announcement, the United States-based Coinbase Users will from now on be able to cash out their balances using PayPal. Back in 2016, Coinbase partnered with PayPal to provide a fund deposit service. However, the system was eventually terminated due to technical issues. With its announcements on adding new tokens and a support for OTC trading, Coinbase seems to be taking a aggressive actions on improving its service. Despite failed history of cooperation, Hope Coinbase and PayPal worked this one out well to provide better service to U.S. crypto traders. It seems as it is getting better and better for U.S. crypto traders as President Trump appoints a Bitcoin proponent Mick Mulvaney as his new chief of staff. Mick Mulvaney, who is currently the director of U.S. Office of Management and Budget, has long been considered an advocate of Bitcoin and blockchain. Mulvaney previously stated that blockchain technology has the potential to revolutionize not only the financial service industry, but also the U.S. economy and the delivery of government services. Along with the appointment of Elad Roisman as the new SEC commissioner, the United States continues to make headway in accepting the technology of blockchain and cryptocurrency. In other news, a Chinese crypto millionaire does a surprise cash airdrop by throwing millions worth of Hong Kong dollar off of a rooftop. According to the police report, a 24-year-old Wang Ching kid who goes by the name of Coin Young Master has allegedly tossed eight thousands of hundred Hong Kong dollar bills into the street. In the video Ching Kin posted on his social media, he shouted that it is the FCC's big day in announcing the trade race and that people should pay attention to this important event while he was throwing the money. Some claim his act to be somewhat of a Robin Hood-like attempt in boosting the awareness of Bitcoin. Others accuse Chinkit as a crypto scammer who has a previous record of promoting false phony coins and that the act simply was unprofessional in teaching the lessons of crypto. A blockchain-based media firm Publish launches an end-to-end -end publishing software, The Publish Soft. Publish Incorporated, the company behind Publish Protocol, has announced the launch of a blockchain-based end-to-end publishing software in the fight against fake news. Last September, the Publish Protocol was launched to counteract against fake news within the media industry. Being one of the first blockchain-based media protocol built by the press and for the press, the project drew the attention of media portals around the world. With the rampant clickbaits and fake news, PublishSoft might just be the solution in clearing the distrust and doubt the public has towards the media industry. We bring the latest news to you. That was your Token Post Daily News Briefing. I'm your host Sun. Please like and subscribe for upcoming news and interviews. Thanks for watching.